Hello there and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how you can implement the so-called proxy pattern in Python and uh, it's a very special object-oriented programming technique because it allows you to provide a, a layer or an interface to a, a, an expensive object in memory for example or an exact the expensive file resource and a network share or a network resource or whatever. So basically <coughs> you can uh, hide the complexity of operating that uh, resource with a proxy pattern and uh, simplify the end user's requirement to understand how to use that kind of object. For example, if you want to provide an interface with this pattern to a, a, let's say a, let's say a quite big object in memory and you want to allow the users to modify and uh, do whatever they want with that object in memory then you, then you want to use this proxy pattern to have a function which allows them to do whatever they want but you want to write that function so that you can trace what is happening to that object and they do not need to know what is happening between the their request to operate on that object and the response but you will have the additional layer which provides you with the capabilities you might need so I'm going to demonstrate this uh, pattern with a football player and a manager and how we can uh, utilize this proxy pattern to simulate the interaction between these two and the end user. So <coughs> I'm going to have the player it's going to inherit from the object and we are going to have this init function which is going to initialize the price of this player which is the random modules rand int function and it's between I don't know I heard that football players are quite expensive so let's just give it a big number so between this big number and this big number Joe will just demonstrate you what it would look like oh and don't forget to import the random module or hmm, just import the random function so it looks a bit more clean <coughs> okay so we have the shell now and I need to start Python if I want to use Python in the Windows shell so yeah this is a big enough number for a football player so well 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 let's say we will have a hmm, what do these football players do well on training That and if I call this on training function, then the self dot training becomes true, and we will return the self dot train. Then. On 
vacation we will have it in initialized here too and yeah cool what do we do the status which will return Hmm, what should be return? Hmm. So <coughs> get price we return the sell dot price. The status will return the sell dot location or sell dot price. <clears throat> because the football players are either training or they are on vacation. So then we have this manager which will act as a proxy for this player and if we initialize this manager Oh, let's uh, give this football player a name. Dot. Name equals name. And if we initialize this manager, then we would like to Create one get player plus player, and if name equals to main, then we will have this border who is going to. With a player with the name Daniel, and we will have this manager with So we will have this manager for the footballer. And let's exit this. We need to go for the desktop, the proxy, clear the screen, Python, proxy. Oh yeah. So we have this initialize it and uh, what we're going to do is <coughs> create this function send player on self time mm, that's a reserved word but if I write it with triple E it's not <laughs> so if type in vacation or 
raining then <coughs> I will send the player to vacation for training perks of living in a village so as we will say that can't send player on it's not a valid option. Let's bring the diary and if the type equals vacation. Then print sending player on vacation. As we send the player to training on training. <clears throat> so, and uh, it will be a cruel and heartless uh, manager, and it will have a function called send player uh, sell player so yeah, sell player and what do we need to sell it we need to know an offer and we will check if that uh, offer for the player is higher than the price of the player because if it's higher, then we will win some money on selling that player. If it's lower, we lose money if we sell that player. So it's just a very simple logic to implement. So I will say that if offer is greater or hmm, should we allow equality? I don't know. We are dictators. So if the offer is greater than the managed player's <coughs> price, then hmm, saying goodbye to the name of the player Else, if the offer is less than the price of the player, then <clears throat> I'm going to say no to offer as the player is more value of the let's give it an exclamation mark let's tell them of and first we'll say the price of the player is Managed player price. <coughs> Let's save it. And I will say that uh, 
what should we say? So, <clears throat> first I will check the send player on function. Send player on whatever. Uh, can't send player on whatever, it is not a valid option. Cool, so we have fallen to this branch. And if I say I would like to send the player on vocation. Then I will do this. Sending player Daniel on vacation. And if I have this training option, then sending Daniel on training. So basically, instead of uh, you organizing the training or the vacation for that uh, specific player, you pass this request to the manager and he will proxy this request to the traveling team and whoever else he needs to notify. So this is basically the idea behind the proxy that you tell them in a kitchen language what you want and they will take care of the rest of the details. So let's try the sad player because we are very cool. Ah, uh, how much should we sell this player for? Let's say we want to sell him for 10,000 whatever unit of currency. Say no to offer as the player is more valuable. So, this is the number. And, well, let's just give two more digits. This must be greater than what the player's price is. And, yeah, then I got fired. So, basically, this is what I wanted to show you. As you can see, this is a very bright or impressive uh, technique that you can use to leverage in your script. And as always, the source code is going to be on GitHub. And uh, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.